Hey guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it, rate it, make a comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We release a new video every day at four o'clock. So thank you for watching, enjoy. The subject is how to host your own wine tasting during your next staycation. I have the answer for you. We're gonna tell you exactly how to do it. That's why Laura Boris is here. She's the CEO from Riverbench Vineyard and Winery. Laura, it's good to meet you and thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. It's great to meet you too. How does someone do a wine tasting at home when they don't know what they're doing? <laughs> well, I think the really key thing is to pick a wine that you love. It doesn't matter what varietal, it doesn't matter what winery, but if you love that wine and you want to talk about that wine, choose that one. And I think if you're talking to your friends and everyone's doing the same thing, just sharing something they love, it's a great place to start. You know, it's, it's just everyone's favorite. You know, that's a pretty good point because if you think about it, I mean, I can tell you the wines I like, I, you know, the beers I like, the vodkas I like, but chances are I may not know a lot about that wine. I know I like it, but I may not. And that's available online. You can go to your website and my, one of my personal favorites, let me just write over here, is this little number. This is the Chardonnay. I get that right? The Riverbend Chardonnay. My gosh, I'm so excited to get into this. So you literally, you get a few bottles and print out a little information and, and share it with the group. That's a great tip. I like that. Yeah. If everyone just says why they like something, it's a great place to start. No rules, no, no big wine tasting etiquette. It can just be what your favorite thing is. So if I got this correct, 1974, very big year in the world, because of course that was the year I was born, but 1973... Uh, an equally phenomenal year, because that's when you guys started, right, 1973? That is when our vineyard was planted. It was one of the first vineyards that was planted in Santa Maria Valley, so. And I realize I don't have a big glass selection here at the house, so this is what we're working with here. Smoky, kind of like my personality. Um, is there a right way to pour this wine, or can I pop it right in there? I think you could pop it right in, yeah. A little little twist at the end, just to keep it from dripping, but, you know, nice. that's only if you want to get Fancy. You are so fancy, Laura, and I love that about you. Here we are. <laughs> Years working at the Hard Rock Cafe. Are you going to pour one, two, or what do I, now what do I do? I got it in the glass, then what happens? Now you want to just swirl it just a little bit. Just get the air into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's another thing for those wine tastings you were talking about. You can add your own twist. So it can be a wine and dance party, maybe. I don't know. Be a TikTok situation. I can feel it coming on any moment. <laughs> the kids, they love that. Okay, so yeah, we're sure. now. Did that actually do anything? It just gets a little air into the wine, and that helps release the aromas. So when you do go to sniff it, you can smell it a lot better and get the flavors and the aromas a little more assertively. What's the right way to sniff wine? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff out there about that. For me, what's works best, just open your mouth a little bit, smell the wine through your nose, and enjoy it because it doesn't have to be too serious. I can smell California. I can yeah. smell Santa Barbara County. I can, oh, the good parts, of course. My <laughs> gosh, <laughs> that's amazing. Well, cheers. All right, so this is the Chardonnay. Right? Now, I have, hold on, I have a spittoon. Now, we don't need that. Can I just drink it? It's okay? You can just drink it. That's totally allowed. I did just brush my teeth, so I don't know how this is all going to work out anyway. Oh, you know, give it a few tries. That, uh, that Estate Chardonnay has a little bit of oak on it, so it won't be a wimpy wine. Oh, that is fantastic. Man, it is so smooth. It's pretty, right? It's, uh, what a great word. It's, it's pretty. It's so pleasing. It's not, uh, obviously, it's not bitter. I don't, I don't have any idea what I'm tasting, but I know what I taste, which is, uh, this is going to go down real quick. I guess we're going to go to break shortly and we may or may not get to the red. I don't know, but wow, that's, that's really awesome. <laughs> I, my dad always said, don't connoisseur yourself out of the wine business. And I think, you know, just do what tastes good to you. Really. That's the most important thing. And those discussions, once again, they're very personal, not to obviously, you know, we poke a little fun at the notion of like, oh, I smell, you know, whatever it is. There's no right or wrong on this. I mean, it, it's what it's what your palate feels, right? 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, you may have a childhood memory of smelling fresh strawberries out, you know, in your grandmother's garden or something that another person doesn't have. And so if a wine brings that up for you, then absolutely. It's super subjective. None of them are wrong. I mean, I'd like to say maybe, maybe some of the bad ones are wrong, but, <laughs> but generally, I mean, you know, people smell and taste what they smell and taste. All right. Before we go, I know we're, every, there's a lot of hand signals going on back here that everybody's like, you've taken too long with the wine. We knew it was going to happen. I, I don't care, Laura. It's my show. I can do whatever I want. All right. This is the Pinot Noir, right? Yes. That's the estate Pinot Noir. That's actually, I jumped right to the red. I went ahead a little bit. But it's a, that's a great wine. And you're going to just smell the terroir of the Santa Maria Valley in that one because we do grow grow strawberries here we have bright red fruits just naturally and you get that in the wine it's it's a really like cool cool terroir thing would this be a red that i should uh decant and put in a decanter or no what would you does it hurt does it help what are we working with you know for me i i feel kind of weird about decanters because unless it's an old wine or something that is you know, needs a little extra air. I feel like if you pour wine in a decanter, it adds so much air up front that you might miss something in the development of the wine. You know, to me, pouring a little bit in a glass like this and drinking it over time does the same thing as a decanter and you get to enjoy every step of the way. So my guess practice. is over my overtime and your overtime may be two different things, but whatever. No, it's fine. <laughs> You might need the decanter then. Then you can fast forward a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot of equipment, something else for me to break or trip on somehow. <laughs> can people order this online and have it shipped, provided that it's legal in their state? Yeah, actually, we can ship to most states now. So our website will give you all the details on that. It's riverbench.com. And we do, uh, we are offering a shipping, flat rate shipping special on case orders. It's only 12 bucks. So it's worth it for the East Coasters. You guys usually have to pay a lot more. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do. I didn't know that. That's, this is, I think we paid more to ship these two bottles than 12 bucks. That's a, thank you for that. That's great. Oh my gosh, this is gonna. Will you come back and we'll, we'll, ta uh, we'll taste something else on, on another visit? Absolutely. I love tasting wine. This is perfect. This this day. And we need to come out and visit. People can, when it's safe to travel again, you, you people can come out and visit, right? Yeah, we have a facility in downtown Santa Barbara, but we also have a vineyard facility. So if you're feeling a little more wine country-ish, you can just come right up to the vineyard property and enjoy a picnic and the beautiful views. Either facility is great. I just, uh, we, we can't wait to be open again and welcome everybody. Perfect. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you, Laura. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Hey guys, this channel is a celebration of all things travel. So hit that subscribe button, leave a comment or question, share this video, like it, rate it, whatever. Believe me, it all helps. Thanks for watching.